book 283. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the young man trapped inside a nightmare. That's right. The young man trapped inside a nightmare. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in an area of the earth that was destroyed by earthquakes and fire, a young man was toiling away in the king's mines like he did every other day of his life. This young man, who was one of my ancestors no less, completed his required task early and then set out for his home where he lived alone. Reaching his home, he quickly washed himself off, prepared a meal, and then laid down to sleep. Extremely tired from his labors that day, the young man laid down for bed and pulled his covers up to his neck. Then he closed his eyes tight. Immediately, once his eyelids had shut, the young man felt a strange sensation as if someone had pushed him down into his bed hard. Opening his eyes in shock, he could see his room clearly, but he could not move. He struggled to turn his head, raise his arms, sit up in bed, and move his legs. But no matter how hard he tried, his body stayed stiff. Terror surged through his frozen frame, and out of the corner of his eyes, he could see shadows beginning to move. The young man stayed like this for several minutes, and then he finally could move again. Not knowing what exactly took place, he sat awake for several hours, contemplating what happened, and then he decided to lay down to sleep again. When he did, the same phenomenon took place, only this time it lasted twice as long. Being able to move again, the young man became fearful of sleep, and he thought that indeed he must be close to death. He determined to not go to sleep again, or he might get stuck in that frozen state, and from there, the next step was death. Several days passed, and the young man forced himself to stay awake, and because of this, his mind started to slip into madness. He began seeing strange creatures wandering around his home, and he slowly started losing his grip on reality. One day, the young man was attacked by one of these creatures that had the body of a man but the head of an ox, and he was shocked that the creature could inflict real pain on him. As he fought this ox-headed creature, another creature with the head of a fish came forth from the shadows to defend him. The young man watched as these two creatures battled until the fish-headed beast won. You are not safe in this place, the fish creature said. You must lay down in your bed and go to sleep. The young man refused to go to sleep and he thought the fish was trying to trick him. So the fish creature apologized for his actions. Then he grabbed the man and pinned him down to the bed. I will not let you go until you sleep, the creature said. The young man fought and fought until he could fight no longer. And even though he was consumed with fear, sleep soon overtook him. When it did, he slipped into the realm of dreams and he looked around. He could see that he was lying in the grass just outside the king's mines and he was surrounded by the people he worked with. They all celebrated when he opened his eyes. Confused, the young man asked what was happening. He was told that he had passed out inside the king's mines and they thought that he was dead. And so they all were happy that his life was still within him. The young man realized that what he thought was real life was actually the dream and what he thought was the dream was actually real life and had the fish creature not forced him to go to sleep in the dream he would have ultimately died in real life. Rubbing his head and sitting up the young man saw at the corner of his eye a man walking away from the crowd wearing a black cloak with a fish drawn upon it. When he turned his head to get a better look at this cloaked figure, he had disappeared. And the young man wondered about these things for the rest of his life. And so the morning motivation of today is the young man trapped inside a nightmare. Today, I have entered your reality by way of this short story in order to force you to wake up from your slumber. You have fallen asleep on your goals and ambitions, and you have been tricked into thinking that your current state of existence is real. Well, it is not. There is so much more waiting for you in life. Wake up to your full potential. Become who you are truly meant to become and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.
to order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.